me a good decision. I want you to see if I in the gym there and they did weights all the time and then they ended up they were going to shut it down and one of the girls there was a PT in the gym she did Muay Thai so I had to find a new gym and I went to Wasabama which used to be down the corner from here and started doing Thai and then after a few months I kind of heard about Neil's gym because he had left there to open his own place and I came here for some sparring and then left Wasabama to join here just before lockdown started and then I just did striking during the first kind of wee while I was here and then just after close of harassment from everybody started doing jiu-jitsu and then MMA. Uh, my favourite submission obviously is an armbar but I never ever set out to like armbar people. It just seems to be the submission that comes to me like naturally out of everything. I like a body kick although Neil <laughs> kind of tells me not to throw that many body kicks but I do like kicks. It's probably my favourite strike. I like armbars but I also like standing guillotines, taking the back. I don't just only like armbars but they're definitely my favourite. So since my last fight I've been working mostly on cage wrestling I would say. But since I agreed to fight MMA in the first place it's mostly been striking that I've been working on when you generally like movement, getting my head out of the way, making sure I'm setting everything up with strikes. So that's what I've been mostly working on but I would say my cage wrestling is what I've been enjoying the most and so it's probably what's come on the most since my last fight. I'm trying my best not to be like pure weird but right. that's just who I am. <laughs> The hardest part of this fight camp eh, for the two fights that I've got coming up because they're quite close together, I've been not well a couple of times during it so I've had to take quite a few weeks of rest and stuff so that's been quite difficult and then just like getting back into training after being unwell and not feeling 100% not be too hard on myself about that has probably been the hardest thing but I feel totally fine now and I've recovered but that's happened to me every camp, I've had injuries in every camp whereas this time instead of an injury it was illness but I can't expect to be fighting like four times in four months and not get unwell so but that's definitely been the biggest challenge. The game plan for Saturday's fight is just to go in and finish it in the first round if I can because I just think that would be pretty cool <laughs> to finish it again first round but Neil would like me to go in and try and get like a few more rounds in experience this time because obviously finishing fights first round is great but it'd be good to at least maybe go back to the corner at one point because I've not even done that yet like two fights I've not even got back to the corner so but I still would love to finish it first round and would love to get another number but we'll see my biggest weakness as a fighter, I would say, is definitely dealing with nerves. I think now I've got much better at that, but that was two years of training before I was ready to fight. To me, like that first fight, obviously the way it went was amazing, but for me the biggest win of that was like the fact that I did it, because I didn't know if I was ever going to do it. And then even once I'd done the first one, I still was a bit like, well, maybe it was just a fluke. And then once I won the second one the same way, it just gave me like a wee boost of confidence. Like, and I'm actually really like, I'm bad at this. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not the best at winding down. So I'm a teacher, so I'm like working every day. I'm in from about half seven till like half three. So that's keeping my mind busy, not thinking about fighting. Don't be stopping out to be honest. Situation. Aye, so from between like half seven and half three, I'm working. I don't have time really then to be thinking about fighting. So it's like that's like the time my brain switches off from this. But then after that, I'll be in the gym from like four to eight every night and then eat, have a bath, go to bed. Like, and to be honest, like training is my wind down time from my work, and then my work is like my break from training, and that is boring. But that's what I like to do. I don't really like winding down from training, I don't want to. I want to say like funny things to slag him, but that was really shit. Right, describe Neil in three words. Committed. He's really committed to he's committed to us, he's committed to at like the gym all the time. And and it doesn't matter when I message him for whatever it's straight to do with weight cuts and all that, he's always there. Stupid, he is stupid, <laughs> but that's why I like him because I'm also stupid. I don't want to say stupid either, that's rude. 
His discipline, his attitude to training is like taught me loads. I used to train a lot before I even started MMA and weights and stuff and I just thought it had to be like training as much as you possibly can, counting calories and doing all this stuff. And he was taught me that that's like not at all what it's about learning and doing it for enjoyment and making decisions that are best for your body to feel your training and all that. So that's like rubbed off on me as well. I don't know what else to say about him. He's just a big dafty. <laughs> that's why I don't like him. And he, he's really hard on me and slags me all the time. And and that is the absolute best way to get me to do well and that is just works for me so I so it's not really three months, it's about a million months. <laughs> ADHD problems. I wanted to say he's a <laughs> 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 he's a 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 he